What is up YouTube? My name is Jay. I'm the person behind the Gaijin Royalty camera. Um, so I'm from America, but I live here in Japan with this girl. Hi, I'm Sarah from Japan. So I'm actually a student here in Japan. I go to the Tokyo International University. Um, however, I actually managed to pick up a 350Z for it's a 2003 uh, Touring, I'm pretty sure it's touring. just a two. I don't think it's a grand touring. I'm pretty sure it's just a touring edition because it doesn't have the Brembo brakes, unfortunately. Uh, we've been modding it. Um, unfortunately, we haven't started vlogs until now. So I already have, uh, I already got wheels and suspension and exhaust done. So we have work Grand Seeker CCXs. Um, they're in like the uh, the mint blue or energized blue, whatever the heck work calls them. So those look pretty sick. Today we actually have quite a few plans. Uh, so we, I picked up this gorgeous uh, Pandem bucket seat, practically brand new. It, I mean, it has obviously it has some uh, scratches and some dings, you know, like everything you get from up garage. Um, we're running a seat rail from Bride. Uh, it was kind of a hassle figuring out which one fit. It is full carbon fiber. I'm pretty sure it's not FIA approved, but you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, though, so Pandem, when they built the seat, I don't know if they did it by hand or what, but so these this piece right here was too far, um, too far forward. I guess you can say it was a few millimeters too far forward. So the uh, the actual seat didn't match up with the rail it did on the other side the other side's fine so the actual seat didn't match up with the rail so last night i took about two hours and i unfortunately had to shave down this hole right here you can't really see where i shaved but i shaved it down until i could actually you know get the seat to match up but it worked out in the end um so we also have some carbon fiber Canards that we got off of Yahoo Auctions. I got these for about three hundred dollars. Not three hundred. My bad. Two hundred dollars. They are real carbon fiber. They look pretty clean. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. So yeah, these look pretty clean. Real carbon. It's pretty nice. So the uh, manufacturer said that we can just screw these in to the freaking bumper of the car. I'm not sure how true that is, but we're gonna try it out. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm a learn as I go kind of guy. I for I YouTube everything that I do. We also have uh, what is this like a a seat con like not the seat. <laughs> this is like uh, the steering wheel um, console. The steering wheel console. Pretty sure that's the name. So it's not real carbon fiber, unfortunately. So like I'm on a but like this is more of a budget build. I don't have a lot of money obviously, um, but I wasn't going to spend, uh, you know, a ridiculous amount of money on a steering wheel console or whatever it's called. That's just ridiculous. Like carbon fiber parts in Japan are typically pretty expensive. I got really lucky on these canards. They're made by some dude in his garage, I think, but I think this will be a good, nice little accent piece to make the car kind of stand out in the interior. All right. So we're gonna go make our way to the 350Z and get started. Forgot to mention later on, um, if we actually manage to get all this stuff installed like we want to on time, uh, later tonight we're going to attempt to go see if we can find a car meet. Try to go to Tatsumi or Daikoku Futo and see what we can find. Uh, maybe somewhere else if we can't find anything. We've never been to Tatsumi, so we really wanna go there and you know see what it's about. Um, I'm really trying to get the seat installed today and the canards, because I think the cards, canards will look sick. And uh, that's about it. Let's go! <laughs>
All right, what's up guys? We're finally here <laughs> at the 350Z. So we're gonna be replacing this today. Right. Kind of a mess. So this is what was in the car when I bought it. One second. So it's got some freaking, it's got some fraying, it's got some ripping. You can see right here. So that, it's a good thing we're replacing it because it's starting to look ugly. Unfortunately, we're gonna be losing my heated seat option, but I might do a custom thing later we put the heated seat you know the heated stuff into the bucket seat so maybe we'll do that and uh so for her seat we plan on just swapping it out with a black leather seat that still has heated capability because she likes the heat um but you know obviously the yellow or brown whatever this color is looks stupid so we're taking that and replacing it replacing this should be quite easy there's just four bolts right here here and down here somewhere and then uh, obviously you unbolt the freaking seat belt uh, and since this these are heated seats and power seats we have to unplug some electrical stuff down there but that is easy um, gonna have to figure out a situation later because since this does have an airbag the car is going to be pissed off at me and give me what is it like a warning light or check engine light something like that so we'll figure that out in the future but for now let's get the seat in I'm gonna hand the camera over to Sarah and she's going to record the process this isn't a tutorial it's just an install video we're not like there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube all over the place so I'm not intending on teaching anyone how to do everything that I'm gonna do because you know I mean I don't know what the heck I'm doing either I'm just figuring it out as I go like I said earlier but let's do this the first thing you obviously want to do we're gonna we're gonna start with the back first just because it looks easier um, so you want to move the seat forward obviously all the way just give you more space and move this uh, forward I think these are probably gonna be uh, 12 mils so these are 14 mils uh, should be all the way around 14 so let's get started All four of those are out. Um, I am profusely sweating. Uh, I'm gonna take my floor mats out so I don't mess them up. Uh, they're the diamond car floor mats from Luxury Floor Mats or some, something like that. I'll put a link in the description if you want some. They're like a hundred dollars for a two-seater car, obviously. So let's pull this up. All right, the seat is out. How should I do this? Oh, that actually worked. Okay. And I want to reconnect this harness so my seat belt sensor will work. So that actually took less time than I thought it was going to. Um, it was pretty easy. Four bolts, like I said, some electrical cords, nothing crazy. Uh, we do have a little itty bitty uh, fitment issue with the door. It touches the door, so I'm just going to have to, you know, slam every time I want to close my door. But oh well. So without further ado, here it is.
All right, so Sarah is going to be the first person to sit. First person. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, oh, it's so. How's it feel? So, uh, can I move? Yeah, it's in the front. Put it front on. bar. You gotta pull it really hard and then scoot. <laughs> really hard. Good luck. There you go. Oh, like high. Huh? Is high. it high? Yeah. Oh, Yokata. Oh, you, can, you can see more. Oh, good, because I wanted a higher seat because that other seat was kind of too low. Mm -hmm. okay, let's get started on the canards, <laughs> if I can. All right, so we managed to get the first side uh, test fitted. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good for me. I think, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I'm using freaking electrical tape, and I would say know-how, but I don't. I don't know how. I'm to mimic the same measurements on the other side. Well, I actually managed to do it. I am very surprised that these screws work. They w they go in super easily, and they didn't crack or mess up my paint or anything. So I, I did the first two on each side. So there, there, all four. Uh, I got to do the rest. Uh, going to mimic the measurements from this side and copy it over to that side and hopefully get something that looks the same. Alright, they are on the car. So, they're not perfect. They're literally handmade canards. So, what we did, we measured from here to here. Obviously, we started from here to here and here to here. And measured from here to here. And then from that corner to that corner to get the exact same measurements on all four sides. So everything is the same. Um, but the only problem is that uh, this little piece right here is not the same on both sides. Uh, you know, handmade, like I said. So this one is actually fatter than the one over here. So this one's thinner right here. Um, how, but these measurements from here to here and there to there and here and blah 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 are all the same but when you look at it like this one kind of looks like it's higher up because of the thinner uh, thinner mount piece but I feel like we did pretty good for uh, not knowing what to do what are you doing? TikTok <laughs> oh <laughs> All right, we're going to install the last piece, which is the steering wheel center console, and then we'll be done. And we'll get some food because she's hungry. <laughs> right, so we ran into a little bit of a problem. Our screwdriver is not long enough for these these holes right here. You see these long things? Literally have to get a screw from in there, and it's just too short. So I'm gonna have to go pick pick up a new screwdriver and see what we can do later so for now we are done and we're going to go get some food wash the car because she's filthy and then hit up a PA later right? I'm hungry yeah me too I'm dying Yeah. so we're gonna pack up and go head home and get some food we'll talk to you guys later say dude say peace out something <laughs> bye bye.
All right, guys. Um, so I know we promised Tatsumi PA, but um, we got the Tatsumi. Uh, there ended up being a few fair ladies, um, so we stopped and talked to them. And before you know it, it got shut down by the cops, of course. So Tatsumi got shut down really quick. We got there a little bit late, later than we wanted to. We wanted to get there around eight-ish. We got there around eight thirty, and it got shut down at nine. So we're only there thirty minutes. Uh, I guess I might include. A video or two that we uh, took on Instagram which you should follow me on so you can uh, you know stay in touch with that what are you doing I got Starbucks yeah we, we got some Starbucks so we're actually we, we ditched Tatsumi and we came here to Umi, Umi Hotaru Umi Hotaru PA, Umi Hotaru PA which is a, another popular place in Japan with a bunch of freaking uh, car meets that take place um, there's actually quite a few cars here. I, I apologize if our faces are not visible. It's not bright at all. It's very dark, but we're trying our best. We're using this light. Um, there were there were a few Itasha cars over here, but unfortunately they are dipped. Uh, I was going to try to talk to them and record their cars, but they left when we were getting Starbucks. So that sucks. But anyways, here is... Umi Hotaru. Here is a beautiful wife. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> there she is. God, this place is gorgeous. You can explain about the So, yeah, this place gets a lot more lively. Right now, it's actually quite quiet. There's only a few cars now. Um, there's actually some dudes over here. That were also at Tatsumi who ditched and came here. Uh, there's a 370 down that way. Uh, it's a, I don't actually know what the other car is. It looks like a Celica or something. I forgot. <laughs> I can't really see that well from over here. But there's not much, unfortunately. So we're just going to chill. Freaking hang out. And then head home. What you doing, Sarah? <laughs> You're not gonna say nothing. nothing. <laughs> Explain. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'll give some more B-roll of the Z uh, with the uh, canards. They look pretty good. The car feel. I mean, obviously you can't really feel a difference if you install canards if you're not on a track really pushing your car. Um, but they work well. Like they're not shaking or anything when I'm driving. They're pretty solid. Is what I mean. So. That's good. I was kind of worried they were going to fall off because they're literally just screwed on. I was kind of scared about that. Um, but yeah, everything's going good. The, the Actually, I forgot. The Pandem seat feels amazing. It's my first time with a bucket seat. And I have to say, bucket seats are amazing. I took some turns on the way here that I never would have tried taking if I didn't, like, you know, if I had the stock seat. Like, it makes you feel a lot more confident when you're on the road. Like, you can really push your car to the limit if you're not sitting and moving around in your chair. Unfortunately, she doesn't get to experience that because she's in the passenger seat. <laughs> maybe maybe someday when I have to switch that seat. So, yeah, this seat is actually not FIA compliant. And I want to track this car, which I will track this car. I can track it now as the way it is, but I can't do competitions or anything. So, I will need to get an FIA compliant seat for competitions. But soon we're going to have a video, like maybe next time she has a day off, we're going to hit a track in Yamanashi. That should be cool, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so there's actually a few things I forgot to mention. So, what is it? Umi Hotaru? Umi Hotaru. Umi Hotaru is actually the PA where you have to go underwater to get here. So, this right here, like, you can't really see it that much. I and mean, obviously this is above ground, but there's an underground area right over... Right over here. So you come from underwater to get here. It's pretty sick. Uh, and then obviously you're surrounded by the ocean, which you can't see because it's really dark. But it's pretty relaxing. Um, so I actually also forgot to talk about like um, what is our YouTube channel. Uh, so Gaijin Royalty is something I decided to start. Uh, I just thought the name was cool, you know, since I'm a gaijin, there's a lot of gaijin in Japan with cars. I was like, maybe I can make a thing, you know, or, you know, all car gaijin can come together, I guess. 
what I plan on doing with Guide Your Royalty is like, uh, you know, like doing cinematic videos, obviously, um, which I already have on my channel. If you haven't checked it out, you should. I'm not the best, obviously. Like, I, I, I'm just starting out. So, over time, I want to get better at doing the cinematic videos. Right now, I have one from Daikoku, which I'm not too happy with because it was too dark and I wasn't prepared. Um, then I have another one from a drift event, which I actually really like that one. You definitely should go check it out. It was pretty sick. Um, and then we have a video from the Yabitsu Toge, which is pretty cool. It's it's not really a freaking cinematic video. It's just, uh, so I tried doing a little bit of a cinematic intro, but it was way too dang dark. So forgive me on that quality. It was terrible. <laughs> I understand it was terrible, but I didn't want to waste the footage. And the rest of the video is just me chasing my friend who has an R33 and another dude, a Japanese dude that we met at the, at the PA um, who was in the 180SX. It was pretty sick. Just some GoPro footage, some raw GoPro footage. Yeah, uh, I want Gaijin Royalty to be more of a like community where we can all come, not just obviously not just Gaijin, but everyone, where we can all hang out, uh, talk about car stuff, do car things, have car meets. Maybe in the future, um, you know, host some car meets around Japan maybe try to find some places in Japan that aren't commonly used like obviously here because this is a mainstream place that everyone goes like Daikoku and Tatsumi try to find some you know off the wall locations where we can hang out and chill uh, and that's about it I guess um, yeah <laughs> so subscribe if you haven't already if you want to be part of the Gaijin Royalty a crew I mean if you subscribe you're basically in Here, here's a nice little is that R32, R33? It's pretty cool. We're going to be building this 350Z and hopefully more cars in the future. I really want an RX7, a Supra. I want a lot of things. The, the new, uh, well, the new 400Z coming out. I really want one of those. That'd be freaking sick. <laughs> an R35, obviously, everyone wants that. Um, but hopefully in the future we can actually make that a reality. I would love to. Uh, so yeah, stick around. We're going to be tracking this car a lot. I don't. I'm not going to be drifting it. Um, it's my only car, <laughs> and I don't have the funds to uh, break it constantly and fix it. So tracking it is a little bit safer. Hit up my Instagram, Gaijin Royalty. I'll link it down in the comments. Uh, comment on this video and let me know what you thought. Uh, we're going to be doing vlogs a little bit more. You know, just basic vlogs exploring Japan. Showing you what it has to offer, showing you the cars, uh, building this car, tracking it. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of June, um, so we would greatly appreciate you helping us out. Yeah.